Okay, I talked about it at the start of the video, so I'm not going to talk about it too long in the intro. But basically, I noticed something in Plat Elo and below. People take terrible runes and sums versus Trindamir. And that only you can punish. Into Trind, you take Phase Rush and you take Ghost if your champion allows you to. Maybe also you could consider Exhaust in some matchups. If you don't have these, that Trindamir just has to play on his Ghost to beat you. So before level 6, just needs to have the wave on his side and then he's going to beat you. And then after level 6, you can build a slow push as Trindamir and go for a dive with the Ghost Advantage. That's it. Even if in that game I still build leads by doing other stuff, if you don't feel confident enough to build leads through micro, through lane, through wave management and shit, just wait for your sums, play off the sums advantage, because if a Trindamir is able to stick on his opponent consistently, even with the lethal tempo nerfs, it's very often going to lead to a kill if you're even in items. So I hope this is a good example. Hope you will enjoy the video. Much love. <laughs> Okay guys, we are gaming in the Unring to Master series still. We're in high platinum. We're facing Riven and I'm seeing something already. We faced Garen, he was playing with uh, Conqueror and Ignite instead of Phase Rush Ghost. We're facing Riven and she's playing with Ignite, which is, well, still not the best. She could go Exhaust or Ghost even. Uh, we faced uh, Cinch who was going Airy and Flash TP, I think. Or flash ignite i'm not sure so basically i'm seeing that up until plat at least i don't know for emerald and diamond people don't realize what makes trinomer strengths and how to counter him and they really like underestimate the power of an exhaust of a ghost um so that's a good thing that you can abuse because if they don't have that kind of some advantage it means that basically if I'm even with Riven, every time that I have my ghost, I have a 15 seconds ghost. So, she, like, she, she cannot kite me. Like, the issue with Riven is that she can permakite you. But if I have a ghost advantage, it's not going to happen. So that's something that you should really look to abuse. Uh, even if you don't, if you think that the way I play, well, there are some mechanics that you don't have and you won't be able to abuse it the way I abuse it, etc. Well, then just try to go even, which shouldn't be too hard if you have, like, the same amount of skill. And just play off some stiff. Just play on every single ghost, have the wave on your side, you ghost, etc. And then you wait for level 6, and you ghost again, and and yeah, that's 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 about it. I feel like you could win many matchups by just doing that. Uh, so let's see, bot lane, their bot lane is very aggressive, our bot lane is looking to scale up. Uh, even if Red is pretty aggro, uh, we'll just pray for Vayne to not fall behind. Uh, mid lane, um, I think Kassadin is not going to be too hard for him to scale. Uh, there is a chance that Ari punishes him and doesn't let him scale though. We'll see. And Volibear, we can expect more pressure from him early on than Kane. That's looking to go blue. And if he's looking to go blue, he needs to gank. Uh, but basically. Yeah, she's gonna get his Q, uh, her Q again, so I cannot, I cannot win this. Now she's fighting me in her wave. I'm sorry, Kane, but oh, I guess I'm not sorry. You can come. So basically, I'm playing around her cooldowns, the Camille. And a very, 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 very good Camille, uh, uh, the Riven. Very, very good Riven player. Well, it's almost impossible to play against it um, because she can go for 100 to 0. Uh, Trades, which doesn't mean like she kills you from 100 HP to zero. It means that she takes some of your HP and she doesn't lose even one HP because of the champ design. But that's if the guy is a really, really good player and even like Master, Master Elo, Camille, like they don't do that consistently. It's like only like the very, very best. So you shouldn't be too concerned mechanically about lower Camille's and it's way harder for, for uh, bro why, why do I keep saying Camille um yeah it's easier to make Trindamer function in this matchup than it is to make Riven function but if 
Riven is playing perfect and Trinomir is playing perfect. Basically, Riven is gonna win. Why do we flash here? It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's not because the wave is bad, but I guess Samira is gonna fix it for us. That's very nice of her. Um, let's see. Well, I saw that volley was top not long ago. Got a lot here, the volley. I don't think he's gonna want to stay forever. Okay, I cannot extend the trade too much in her wave. I'm gonna look to hold the wave here. I lost a bit too much HP. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop pot. Now... Well, if she walks up to fix it, I need to look for good trades. I have an item advantage. I have more MS with my boots. And if she doesn't look to fix it, well, she just like loses golden experience by default. You see how much I freeze in these games? If you look at every single game of this Entering to Master series, for now, like there hasn't been one game where I didn't bring like create a lead without going through a freeze. So that's a really important thing to learn. Wave states, recognize them, and more importantly, like create them, make them happen. Now I'm gonna drop a deep ward so I can see if she's trying to get in XP range, if she's trying to roam. The wave is actually gonna bounce to her. Well, guess what's gonna happen? Look at what I talked about. In eight, 28 seconds, I would have ghosts. And level 6. That's my play. It's 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 that simple. I'm gonna slow push a very big wave, so I have so like yeah I can I can I can have a lot of time after that to take a plating, deny her a lot. And I'm just gonna dive her by using ghost. I'm not even gonna look to play well. I could look to like dodge some abilities. I'm just gonna, yeah, press W, press Ghost. Also have a flash advantage, but most likely I don't even need that. Okay, I could try to make her use abilities and... Okay, well I could have decided to flash. Uh, I could have decided to flash in order to uh, live here, but I feel like I'd rather keep my flash so I kill her again very soon. Mm, maybe I'm actually gonna build strides. I'm gonna look at the rest of their team. Now I think Kraken is good versus this gate, this gate, and well, this gate's decent. So I was thinking about going straight because it's all about like sticking on her, but I guess. And, and still, like, she doesn't go for Tabais. Tabais should be her first item, 100%. She's just going for AD. I was looking to see if she was going to W or E me, which would make the, the play easier. Actually, made the play harder because I just gave her a Conqueror stacks and enough time to play with. <laughs> I mean... I don't know how mechanical that was, I just just click on her, you know. I'm, I'm so much stronger at this point. She's fighting me outside of her turret trench. So I would just take this. I would ping this. That maybe we can play with Kane. Now if Kane doesn't want to come, but the risk is that Vody comes. Especially because all well, his top camps are up. I lost the uh, plating, that's my bad. What I should have done is left click on the turret so I see it's HP and whenever it's gonna fall. I had my flash to follow if she did the better flash. Uh, yeah, whenever the plating is gonna fall, then I just go. Okay, I see volley now, so I'm just gonna run. Let's go. 
Let me put snow. Hmm. Well, I, I am gonna lose a bit of XP for that. I'll show you why. I also kind of want to have enough gold. I want to have enough gold for Kraken. I don't want to base by almost a Kraken and then base again for my Kraken. So I will stay for a couple more waves. She could freeze, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on that. And if she doesn't, nice, I get my Kraken Slayer now. And we can keep the snowball going. Okay, this game I would try to focus on playing a perfect one because last one we were in this kind of situation. I actually got my first loss because I lost intensity, I would say. After winning by a lot, I was like going for more random plays and not being as thoughtful. So we're gonna prevent that this one. Uh it was exactly the same. Like my mid was winning, my bot was doing good. The only difference was that they were outscaling us. And this time because we have Vein Gain, I don't think they straight up outscale. And yeah, shouldn't get emotional or, or result oriented like the game is won so I'm gonna play different or the game is lost or so I'm gonna play different. Should just drive to play well. Okay, well I mean again ghost. Uh you can push this. Yeah, but then you Put a ward here, and if you see them, and if you see them walk towards you, well, then you just go away. And if they, you see them flank you, you just go away as well. But you just have pretty good vision. Mm. Should I go? I was thinking about maybe going and fighting him on wolves, but I think spending 1100 is not too bad either. Okay, yeah, bot lane is losing pretty hard. So we need to keep pushing. I'm not gonna use my pink. Okay, we have three grabs, let's go for six. I'm looking to roam before before she has or even has info on the fact that we're on grubs. Uh, we probably let her wave kill mine, so I deny plenty of XP. And then I will push with the next one. I have demolish, so I can look for a demolish proc. If it's not a dive. Because without my ghost, even if... I mean, I mean, she still doesn't have armor, but still, like, I'm not supposed to be able to, like, straight up kill her. So, how do we start volley bot nice? I mean, yes, he's ganking. He's been top multiple times. You just, just didn't die to him. Yeah. Need that kind of... Negativity, my chat. Okay, so if I cannot take like, straight up Diver, I will look to keep her top, and then in between waves I can go for a camp, I can go for mid, okay, I could have went for mid turret here, I think uh, Ari could do that by herself, because we have grubs, so maybe I can look for a gank, there we get the turret, also share the XP, that was like 200 free gold. I will go help her push, not get the last hit so she doesn't like kill or anything. No elo players, you know. No offense, but I've seen a lot of AFK or troll for less than this in my life. Okay, 
up. And we're just gonna keep control over the top side of the map. Uh, there's a Drake soon, but there's also what it's called. Okay, I'll well, we get the flash. But just like posturing offensively. Don't have to go for the full turret. My idea was that this was spawning, so just gonna go for it. If they come to me, I think I can fight pretty much anyone. After this, I would get the gold for um, Navori soon. So maybe blue buff is gonna get me that kind of gold. Um, after getting Herald and blue buff, well, I will try to fix top wave, see depending the, the state of top wave, it needs to be fixed or not. Then I will probably base, then I will have a Herald. Then where do I put it? I don't know, we'll see. It's probably gonna be a different situation by then. It's likely top, because I want to get uh, the turrets. So, let's go for this blue buff first. Let's go for this. And let's go for Riven. She has these. I guess I'm gonna ghost. So here I'm not even ghosting to kill her. I'm ghosting to kill her fast. And get T2. Which is a lot of gold. Well, that's plenty of gold on my end. Uh, this is a really good spike. If you cannot finish an item, zeal, just having like extra movement speed is like so, so good. Now I have a bit of time to look for something on the map, maybe. I can take this blue buff. Okay. Good thing I didn't grid uh, my ult. Uh, Riven doesn't have ult. I don't think she can surprise me in any way. I'm checking bushes with W. She's in one of them. Up. And now... We could use Herald bot, but I don't think it's needed. I'd rather use it for something that we couldn't get without Herald, basically. I don't really care about Vayne, even like she could go AFK, she's pretty useless at this point. I, I was hesitant to get to use it now for T2, but I think we still get T2, oh shit. Just naturally, you know, because of Grubs. Now we can run. If she dies, she dies, you know. Okay, but we're having a TP. Well, I think they're gonna FF after this. Uh, Nash is not spawning like very soon. It's kinda spawning soon. Not that soon, so I don't think I'm gonna use Herald to open bot and hip for Nash. I think I'd rather... Yeah, probably the turret is enough and then I keep Herald to threaten Nexus more than in hip. It's a 5v3. Let's go Borg, let's try Borg. Here as a third item. Can't be bad, right? Okay, let's keep the focus still. Mm. 
There's a big fight going. But I don't think that even does much. Okay. Now I feel like I, I could I could get a lot here. I mean, again, I'm doing the exact same mistake as last game. Just gave a 1k shutdown to Kassadin for nothing. And I said from the start that I don't think this play is going to do much for us. I still go for it. This time my team is winning way more than last game. But if the teams were even or if they had a scaling comp, that's exactly the kind of play that loses you the game. I just, in my head, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get the quadra here. Well, I do. If everything goes perfectly in my way... And I didn't consider like potential exhaust on Samira, flash on Samira. I didn't know about sums. I didn't know about anything when I went for that play. So I think that it was bad and my first idea was right. Do I go faster if I just raid that? Oh shit. It's okay. Guess I hit the Nexus. He's gonna farm for me. Mm, yeah, I can I give Kaisa his Kaisa his second item. I'm not casing. I'm securing it. Yeah, this would be. Gonna put myself here if she checks the bush with Q. Oh, there's a body here. No. I think we should just go Nash here. Myself on her side of the pent. Or maybe we can look to end. Do we have a mid wave? We don't yet. Oh. See. Yeah, we can probably just end this. Okay, well, yeah, just just punish bad summoners is pretty much the idea of it. Um, I guess it's gonna happen a lot. It happened to me on three games in a row in this ELO, so I'm guessing people don't take the Reddit runes. It happened to me actually five times in like 13 games or something. So yeah, that's gonna be the idea of this one. Just punish bad summoners, and if you cannot like... Trade leads consistently, just play on your ghost. Every ghost should be a kill. You put your waves either on your side or you build a slow push and you go for a dive. And that's the idea. Okay, guys, well, thank you for watching it. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good luck and have a fun game in real life. I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye bye. Good job. <laughs>